Good morning, No Excuses Scholars. It's Friend Friday, May 7th, 2021. Go out and make a new friend today. It's a good day for it. Our last look at our college vocabulary word, active listening, to stay alert, give your full attention when someone is speaking. And sometimes that takes planning. You have to really be ready to be actively listening. As it says there in the six effective techniques, pay attention, withhold judgment, be patient, make sure your body language is you're looking at them, you're sitting up, you're um, having eye contact, restate what they said, make sure you clarify everything and ask questions if you're not sure. That's active listening. We're all this month, we're looking at wonder, that is our character trait. And uh, I like the little box in the middle. It says the meaning of happiness consists in three elements. Freedom. We all love freedom. Gratitude. Absolutely. We need to be thankful for so many things in our lives. And the sense of wonder. Hmm. Yeah. Believe it or not, you can find some happiness in just being wondering about things and thinking. And, you, you know, it goes along with being intelligence and knowledge. And you put it all together. A sense of wonder. All right, so today and this whole month, let's wonder together. We are continuing to look and celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And I have someone really cool for you today. It's Kurt Chu In Lee. May not have said that exactly right, but this guy, wow, he became the first Asian American to serve as a regular officer in the United States Marine Corps. And he further distinguished himself through heroism. Yeah, this guy's a hero in the Korean War. And while leading a platoon in this place called Incheon, Lee's unit was attacked by Chinese forces. And he directed his men to establish a defensive line. Said, okay, guys, stay right here. He, by himself, advanced um, alone in order to provoke the enemy to open fire and reveal his position. So he was like... Okay, I'll take it for everybody. And he went out there and got the enemy to start shooting. And uh, taking fire from nearby Chinese forces, he called out to them in Mandarin. And he said, hey, don't shoot, I'm Chinese. Even though he wasn't. And uh, his American accent gave him away. They're like, we know, you're just an American. And the attack continued. However, Lee was wounded. But his actions saved his men. And he was awarded the Navy Cross for his extraordinary heroism. So... What an amazing gentleman that was and helping out his men. So thank you, Kurt. What an awesome uh, model of being a hero is. So thank you. This week, six, our sixth graders are doing some really neat things in uh, STEAM, which is like science and technology, um, engineering, and even art. And so I have a couple of uh, slides just to show you some of their work. So this is from Ms. Montenegro's class and um, another one from um, the Cyrus class. So you guys, wow, nice job, everyone. Sixth graders, woo, love to see your work. And this is only a couple of them. I'll show another slide here. There's many, many more. So here's another one from another class. So well done, everyone. So proud of you. It looks amazing. And I've seen the other artwork from the other, other scholars. So kudos to you all. Thank you for sharing both teachers and hey, scholars, keep up the good work. And today we're again, we're wrapping up our teacher and staff appreciation week. I hope you went ahead and gave your teacher or somebody on staff a nice little note, maybe a little gift. Um, or even just went and said, hey, thanks for being my teacher. Or, hey, thanks for being on staff at High Grove. We have some cr incredible people. This is a really, really good school and really, really good staff. So again, um, coming from me as well as Mrs. Michelle, thank you, thank you, thank you to our entire staff. You guys rock. All right, Husky Scholars, we want you to be terrific. Well, actually, you already are. But here are some other ways to help you continue to be even, I guess, more terrific, to be trustworthy, respectful, responsible, fair, caring, courage, great citizen. Just like the, we saw in the gentleman, Kurt, he was he, a person of courage. He was a great citizen. Um, he was really responsible and uh, he was caring for his, his men and his unit. 
um, and trustworthy. Obviously, you know, they trusted him to go out there and do a good job. So, and being terrific doesn't mean you need to put yourself out in uh, harm's way, but you can just be terrific with the people around you and just be kind and uh, keep your hands to yourself. Um, so we're in, I've seen a lot of good examples of scholars being so terrific. I'm so proud of you. You guys really helped to make um, High Grove the amazing place that it is. So keep going. And scholars, we really need you to continue to show good manners and super important is the social distancing. While you're in line, um, of course, while you're at recess, I know it's difficult and teachers and other staff members, please help us out. We've uh, other schools in Riverside have not been following the six feet apart and there's people that have had gotten sick. And so we're really, really being very careful um, High Grove Elementary, we need to stay six feet apart outside. All right. And inside, obviously, you're three feet apart, but you're, you have the shields up. But at lunch and at recess, please, please, please stay six feet apart. All right. Here's our joke for, for the day and the last one for the week here. This is from Isabella, a third grader in Mrs. West class. And the question is, what do sea monsters eat? Well, I hope I never see a sea monster. Ew, that would be scary. So please don't eat me. But what do you think sea monsters eat? Hmm, any ideas, any guesses? Here we go. Fish in ships. Yeah, fish in ships. <laughs> All right, thank you Isabella for sending that in. That's fantastic. And scholars, as always, you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.